Hey, I heard indie games are pretty popular now. You could cover something like Celeste or Undertale. We could probably get a lot of Absolver. Is it popular? Yes. Then cover that. I lied, this game isn't popular and it never really was. However, it deserved so much more than it got, and buried beneath a mildly misleading Steam review score is a really good fighting game. Now, I can't get through this review without comparing it to Dark Souls at least once. Absolver, despite being a wholly unique game, has a lot of Dark Souls inspiration I cannot ignore. Most notably, Absolver takes the Dark Souls approach to storytelling, where the story is left to the player to piece together through the environment and item descriptions. However, this doesn't really work in the case of Absolver. Some areas look blown out and destroyed, but for no real reason. And area bosses just look like all the other enemies, and without distinct opening cutscenes, names, or areas that the enemies are in, it's much harder to piece together what is really happening in the world. In Dark Souls, the world can be generally pieced together without item descriptions and just experiencing the world around you. Everyone in the Undead Burg has long since gone hollow, so now a dragon rules over the town. New Londo was flooded long ago to contain the Dark Thrace and ghosts that roamed the former city, with Drakes guarding the entrance to the former city to make sure no one gets in. Ornstein and Smo's names are based off of what they're famous for, and are supposed to be the last guardians of Princess Guinevere. In Absolver, these guys are in the tower that leads to the final boss. It's hard to piece together the stories of the different areas, but there isn't really anything to piece together. You can't really know, the gold stuff in the tower is called Essence, and it ended up exploding, which is why the world is destroyed. This presents Absolver's biggest problem, lack of content. I mean, how could you know the story of Absolver when the main PvE part of the game can easily be beaten in under 4 hours if you know where to go, even if you die a bunch of times to the bosses? There are 11 bosses in the game, some of which can be hard, but all of which are just normal enemies at their core. They are just the player character, but an AI is controlling them, which can lead to some cheese being available to dish out, and ultimately they all feel the same to fight. Every area surrounding the bosses is incredibly short, only lengthened by how much you died to the enemy enemies along the way. Nothing exemplifies this problem more than Downfall. Downfall was a free expansion release with the intent of giving more content and more to do. The new mode introduced with this update was the aptly named Downfall mode, a dungeon-like crawl through more vague lore. This mode seems good in theory. Do different objectives in different rooms to get to a boss collecting a resource called Gleam to level up your Gleam level and unlock different items. However, there are only three levels, and after seeing the scenery of each one, they all start to feel the same, especially the first one with its color palette of gray and brown an otherwise color-rich game. This mode is also painfully tedious to even just level up your Gleam level. You have multiple lives to go through, however every time you die you lose 25% of your Gleam. So assuming you fail the level and die 3 times, which for a harder room isn't uncommon, you can lose 75% of your total earned Gleam. Not only does this make level ups painfully slow and hard to get unless you perfectly complete the areas, it's also incredibly annoying to lose up to 50% of your gleam even if you've completed the level. However, what Absolver doesn't lack is presentation, visually and through audio. Absolver has some incredible visuals, gorgeous views, and stunning environments in every area of the game. Paired with vibrant colors that pop and a fantastic cell shaded art style, this is genuinely one of the best looking games out there. The audio in this game 
only boosts this game's incredible environments to the next level with incredible ambiance. Not only is the ambiance top notch, but the incredibly atmospheric soundtrack rivals Ocarina of Time. Fights are flashy, with each move having its own wind-up and hit animation. Depending on the move, different effects will show, and on hit, a bright yellow flash shows, leading to incredible feedback. Sounds also play into this, with each hit sounding incredibly meaty and guttural, with slight changes depending on the speed of attack and the damage it deals. <laughs> What really makes this game is mechanical depth. Absolver at its core is about punching other people, but Dark Souls likes stamina and health management. However, what makes Absolver really unique is the different stances. These four stances are represented by the four corners of this diamond, and depending which corner you are in, you can do different combos that you've assigned. The specific moves in the combos can also change what corner you're in, as well as having dedicated single hit moves to change position. All of these moves can be changed and customized to your liking, allowing you to control how you attack, the speed of your combos, how much damage you want to do, how many breaking moves you want, how much invisibility you want, etc. All of these moves can be unlocked by dodging or blocking them in some way if you come across an enemy who uses them, or if you're in a school, by using lock moves in the school's custom deck, emphasizing that the player should use all abilities to their advantage and continue playing, because who knows, maybe you'll unlock a perfect move for your build. On top of this, you have different ability classes. Forsaken is a parry move that recovers stamina and leaves enemies vulnerable. Cult absorbs the attack, leaving gray health from the damage dealt, which can be regained by attacking the enemy. Windfall is a dodge that recovers stamina and leaves enemies open to attack, similar to the parry. Stagger is a smaller dodge, however, every dodge is an attack that can be comboed into or set up for trapping enemies. 
and Fajan. Fajan was a new style added in the Downfall expansion, and is another great example of lack of content. Fajan has different abilities depending on what position you're in. This could be interesting, but the abilities in the top positions are just parry version of the stagger abilities, and the bottom stances are just worse versions of the windfall dodge that doesn't leave your opponent open. Instead of adding a new unique ability that rounds out all of the unique interactions possible with the system, Fajin just adds recycled gimmicks to the game that can already be found in the other styles. Schools are another defining feature of this game. Schools give you a chance for you and your character to learn new skills, moves, and styles, and unlock new weapons and masks. Playing PvP can rake up whatever school you're in on the leaderboard and allows you to use more of the exclusive unlocks like the combat decks and masks. And using these items in your loadout only makes you level up in your school faster, incentivizing experimentation with whatever iteration of the deck the school has that day. PvP is what really gives this game substance. You can have all of the systems in the world, but without anywhere to test it, there isn't really a point in the system. Luckily, PvP is the perfect place for this game's combat. Despite different moves of differing damage, every player is on equal footing and matches really come down to skill. The skill can be presented in many different ways, all of which have ups and downs, and can be avoided. It never really feels unfair that you lost, you're just not on that opponent's level. However, learning how to fight better is only limited by how much the player is willing to master their chosen deck, style, and abilities, leading to a lot of potential playtime. The skill ceiling is incredibly high and near infinite, and with so many different combinations of attacks you put in your deck, you are almost guaranteed to have a somewhat unique playstyle. That's what this game is. Unique. There are so many things in this game that make it stand out. The school system is a great idea and allows for even more growth in individual players. The stance system paired with completely unique deck builds makes every interaction unique, not just on your end, but on the player who's playing you. Adding special abilities to the mix to change even further the utility of your character is also incredibly unique. This game is an overlooked fighting heaven, and is much closer to what games like For Honor should have been. Despite the lack of content and frustrating potential of add-ons, this game really perseveres through engaging engagements with other engaged engagers who are excited to be engaged in an extremely entertaining experience. This game should have been more popular than it was, and it's only more gutting that it wasn't because this published by Devolver Digital, one of the biggest indie game publishers out there right now. Slow Clap, the developers of this game, have also abandoned it, with Downfall being the last update for this game. They are working on their next game, Sifu, which will be entirely single player focused. I can only hope they don't skip out on content this time around, however, if the pure quality of the combat shines through, a shorter, more replayable game will also be extremely respectable, as it's hard to make a replayable game based solely around fights, something that even the best AAA devs have struggled with for a very long time, even in games that should have said replay value. However, knowing Slow Clap's attention to detail in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and from the fighting in the trailer, there's little doubt in my mind they won't pull it off, no matter how long the game is. What's up with you covering all of these obscure games? That's what I find interesting and fun to cover. But it's not exposure. But it's fun. Logic not work. He's gonna be like this for a while.